Welcome to Online Tip Zone. Hi guys, now we are going to know about how to disable catchy and enable debug. Enable quick debug. Why? Why we need to do this in Drupal? If you disable catchy, you will save your time by going always to the car parents. Sorry, configurations, development performance to clear the catchy by clicking here clear catchy it will take up to one to two minutes for every time whenever you are developing site once you disable this it will automatically remove the catchy without doing without doing this settings okay and why this enable big debug why means if you go to any Drupal site and while developing When you search for something, the where it is or the, about the path, and CSS style, CSS session. Okay, when you are trying to get the paths, there is no exact data where it is. And, okay, and you will get like this, uh, and you are unable to get the path. Okay, for this, you will, if you enable quick debug, it will give the paths where it is coming from so that you can, it will easy to edit from your end. Okay, now let's see how to do this. The steps I have listed here. First of all, you need to open settings.php, which will be in sites default folder. Okay, I will I will go direct. I will go one by one step. Okay, you will get the path easily. First, you need to open the website where it is. My website is here. Now, in the main section, main section you need to open sites okay in the sites you can see the default here it is in the default you can see settings icon settings.php this is the php file here just give right click and go to properties okay now disable this read only okay and apply then click ok now open this file with any editor okay i am going to open with visual studio after you open okay you need to search for this code where it is you can direct copy it and search okay here it is by default it will be in comment okay you need to Remove the comment tag for these three lines. Okay, this is the first step. Now save it and close. And next, in the next step, what you want to do, you need to uncomment this code. But in the some in some versions, it will be in the example.settings.local.php. In some versions, it will be different. Let's see. In my section, in my version, where it is. Go to sites. Here you can see the example settings.local. First, you open and search for the code. It is there or not. Just copy anything and search. Yeah, this is the correct file. Here, you have to rename this or you have to copy and, and duplicate, uh, paste for the duplicate file. And you need to set it as settings.local.php instead of example.settings.local.php. It's nothing but you need to remove this example okay here it is just uh, copy it and paste okay now rename it just remove this copy and example okay now open this with an editor By default, for the first two 
lines it will be there is no comment if you have any comment tag you need to remove the comment tag don't worry i will give this code in the description no comment tag so don't worry now search for the third line see here we have comment tag just to remove this hash and next line See here also we have comment just remove it and next see here also we have comment tab just remove now click control C and close it okay and next tab in some versions the development services dot yml the folder will be there you need to change it same like this whatever you did for the example dot settings of local dot php just copy and paste and save it as services dot yml before going to change it just check for the these lines if it is there or not so for few versions you will get it here only in the sites folder but I am saying here I don't have in sites folder. I need to open default. Here you can see default uh, services. Okay, which is YML file. Only YML file. Okay, now copy and paste for the duplicate and rename it as services.yml. I am going to change the name. services dot yml now the file is ready just to open with editor okay now search for the debug first okay search for the debug which is here by default it will be false you need to change it true and next search for the auto reload Here yeah. by default it will be null. You need to set it as true. True. And next catchy. By default it will be shown as true. Search, search, search until you get it. Here, catch is true. You need to set it as false. Okay. Now we will see it is the settings are working or not. For this, you need to reload the page and Control Shift C search for the code which is uh, showing the paths or not. See, it is not working. One thing you have to do now for the first time you need to remove catching. For this, I am going I am opening main path and uh, I am going to clear the my catchy using git bash. Type dash cr it will it will remove total catchy and it, it is nothing but the instead of you are going to performance and remove the clear catchy, it is an easy way to clear the catchy. How to you have, if you want to install Russia and the git patch, you can check my links in the description to use it. It will take up to 10 seconds to clear the catchy and rebuild the site. Yeah, catchy has removed now. Keep it page like this and open it in new tab. See, there is no paths and uh, information. The files are coming from the way which they are coming from on the page. Okay. 
now try to check see now you got the files you got the paths here suggestions the field sections and the pages from where the content is from okay here there is no data but here you have data yeah. like this you can disable catchy and enable debug in the development purpose only when you are moving to live you need to set the settings as default okay what we did now we need to change the change to original only then you can upload server okay don't upload directly without changing these settings whatever you did okay hope you got it thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel